Hey everyone, it's Dylan. Welcome back to my doll room. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review of Pocahontas and John Smith's Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection doll set. So stay tuned. I'm going to look at their artwork. We're going to look at the beautiful dolls. And of course, we're going to look at the bonus items that came along with the doll. So Pocahontas and John Smith are in a bluish green uh, backdrop, which reminds me a lot of like the river or like the forest. It says Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection, and their motif are leaves. Because in the Pocahontas film, leaves are a big part of her story, and they basically are there the whole time. <laughs> Pocahontas and John Smith seem to be discovering one another here as she probably just got done singing Colors of the Wind and she has taught him what it means to be a true Native American and to respect the earth and respect that all animals have life and respect all life. So I think that's why they both look so ominous here. Pocahontas has her beautiful brown outfit on and here it is more zhuzhed up. Her hair is flowing. She has a beautiful headband with feathers, her mother's necklace. It has a Navajo printing on the top of her dress. And on her waist, there is a beautiful band there that has feathers and beads. And there's a lot of tassels here. And some of the tassels have beadwork on them. She is, of course, barefoot. John Smith has his blonde hair, blue eyes. He's looking like he just learned something. He had an epiphany. <laughs> His vest is blue and he has a white undershirt with a satchel. He has his pants and then his boots where he travels the world. Here it says Pocahontas and John Smith. And down here at the bottom, it says Pocahontas and John Smith again on the card. Here is the side of the box. It says Pocahontas and John Smith, Disney Store exclusive. With the leaves, they are framing them in. And on the top, it has the logo and it has their name once more. The leaf is carried through here. This talks about their story. When John Smith, <laughs> John Smith, <laughs> when John Smith meets the beautiful Pocahontas, their two worlds collide and they are never the same again. Pocahontas shows John the beauty of the world around them. Enchanted by her kindness and grace, John discovers the beauty within her. After risking her life to save his, Pocahontas and John claim their love for each other and that their two worlds at last become one. And of course, we know as in the film, they don't get to be together in the end. They choose to live in separate worlds, but wiser and knowing more about themselves. <laughs> so here it talks about her um, headband with the feathers. Um, talks about the blue necklace, which was her mother's feather charm. Highly detailed embroidered bodice. Here it talks about her suede tan skirt. There's the belt with the feathers. Um, oh, and I missed the shawl. She has a really pretty shawl. I'll have to show you that. Down here it talks about his shirt, tunic, boots, satchel. So, um, oh, and it says, look of a rugged pioneer. That's definitely <laughs> what he was, a colonizer. <laughs> Here is the product info, and here is the price. This is the price for the whole set. These cost $129.95. Here is the doll set. So there's just a few little minor changes that I think that didn't make it onto the doll, but we can talk about those. Otherwise, I think that it matches very well. <laughs> so let's start with John Smith, because he's more simple, of course, than Pocahontas. He has blonde hair, blue eyes, and I think it really looks like John Smith. This face sculpt was created just for this line. His hair is molded on. Again, I think it would have been hard for them to do male dolls in their short haircuts. His hair would look really fluffy on a lot of the Mattel dolls when Pocahontas was released in theaters. He looked very, um, he had very funny, funky hair. <laughs> so here, this is a way that they did it to keep it maintained. He has this beautiful blue tunic that has like embroideries stitching on it and his satchel that he keeps all of his necessities in like his compass and biscuits um, and maybe some maps and stuff. Sleeves, there's his hand, and then his shoes and pants. So that's basically him and it captures the character of John Smith very well. Pocahontas has a beautiful face and she doesn't have very much makeup on. But really, the makeup that Pocahontas probably had was things that she made in her village with her people. 
So there's a little bit of blush there and there's a little bit of an eyeliner, but it's very subtle and gorgeous. Her eyes are brown and she just looks so stunning. Her headband is gold. That's a difference between the artwork. In the artwork, we had multiple, multiple colored feathers. Here, they're all one color. I would have loved to see what it would have looked like with like her rainbow of different feathers up there to represent the colors of the wind. There's her mother's necklace. Although her mother's necklace doesn't have a feather, it's more of like a rock or like a stone. And this has her mother's necklace with a feather. So I know fans don't like it whenever the necklace can't be made right. At the top here, there's like a Navajo print and then there's like beading. These beads are so pretty. And whenever you pick up the doll set, they actually kind of move around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them I think are kind of wild because it's matching the artwork like they're flowing in the wind. Or maybe that's just how mine is right now and I just need to shake them or fix them. But the beads are brown or teal and they just kind of dangle. So she has a shawl that is very pretty. It has like leaf patterns in it. Um, it looks like a suede fabric that like the leaves look like they're falling and flowing. And there is her tattoo on her arm. Here on her skirt, there are more of those tassels with little beads on it. At her waist, there's a belt. And here again is where they change the feathers. These feathers are all painted. Some of them are solid colors and some of them aren't. I, it would have been interesting to see like some striped feathers maybe, or maybe some more colorful feathers as in the artwork. But, you know, I think this works. And these are also very, they're loose. So they just kind of flow around in the wind. <laughs> There's Pocahontas's hands as they're poking out from her shawl. And then of course she is barefoot. So Pocahontas doesn't wear shoes. <laughs> here it says Pocahontas and John Smith on the plaque. Up here is the Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection logo, the Pocahontas and John Smith artwork. And down at the bottom is my number. I got number 473 of 6,000 of this doll set. Some of the bonus items is this mug, Pocahontas and John Smith artwork. Beautiful design, it has that same shade there in the background. Even has the leaves kind of flowing on the glassware. It says Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection and the price was $14.95. We also have this beautiful journal that has the artwork. Leaves flowing, of course, and it's just stunning. But having these items is just so special to me and I was so lucky to get these. I definitely, you know, you had to buy these at the time because they would sell out instantly almost. So it was a big rush and a lot of money out at one time, but really good memories. <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for watching this Pocahontas and John Smith doll review. Let me know what you think of them. I definitely think she is gorgeous. And really, this was the first time Pocahontas got a designer doll other than her princess designer doll. So this was a big deal. So let me know what you think of them. Make sure you watch my next video. And I will be looking at Mulan in the series. So stay tuned. See you guys next time. Bye.